Hey guys, welcome back to Heroes of Storm. Today we're going to be talking about Murky and we're going to give you a small guide on how to play Murky. There's a lot of people picked up this hero since his price has been reduced from 10k to 7k and I see a lot of people being very confused as to how to play him. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go over what you should be doing in the early, mid and late game and how Murky's power is really unique and how Murky's just a very, very unique champion. So the first thing we're going to talk about are his abilities and in particular his traits. So as you can see here back in Spawn I have an egg. Uh, this is this this is for you who have never played Murky, don't have a clue what Murky does. When you kill Murky, regardless whether his egg is alive or not, when you kill Murky, he he, he will you will receive 25% of a normal player kills experience, and he will rack up 0.25 kills. And thus, if you kill him four times, you will equate to the normal of one hero kill. That, that, that's how it works. Also, when he dies, he will respawn five seconds later after killing him and he will respawn at his egg and you can cast his trait to reposition the egg once every 15 seconds so say we're in this lane and we're fighting out in this lane obviously this is a really bad example to do because it can quite easily be sniped it has incredibly low hp as murky does as well but if you wanted to you could put the egg down in this brush here and that means now if when i die or if i die i'll respawn here rewarding them uh, 25 percent of the kill so basically so basically, <clears throat> what you can do as Murky is you can run in and trade one for one, all game, every game, and it will be val uh, and you and it will be totally, totally worth it. If you can get a kill as Murky while dying, it's always worth it. And what Murky can do, which a lot of other heroes can't do, is Murky can purposefully delay objectives. Like he can run into the cursed hollow if people are trying to pick it up, or onto a sky temple. Or onto a, a turning point and just delay people, just stop them from doing it, which is something that really a lot of uh, a lot of heroes can't, just can't do. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna reposition eggs so it doesn't just instantly die. Uh, if you want a safe point to put it, a safe point to put it is normally on the other side of the structures to the healing fountains. The healing fountains normally the first one that's killed. So putting it down right there. Obviously this is the tri map, so that's gonna be slightly different. Uh, it's a good place to put it. Uh, as far as <clears throat> using his moves go. When against Murky, you have to remember that you can destroy the puffer fish if you want the puffer fish as a W. When you cast it, it bounces to its location, stays there, the little orange bar ticks down, when it reaches zero, it explodes, dealing massive damage. The higher level you get, the more it will hit for, and once you get to level 20 with rewind, you can cast two of these down, and later on, if you get the right ult, you can secure this hit, and it will pretty much kill everyone if you can cast two of them. So as a result, it's an incredibly strong ability just to blow someone up if they are unfortunate to get hit by it. And as a result of that, it's an incredibly good wave clearing tool. And, um, and uh, minions don't attack it if there's anything else in range. His Q is a slime, slows them down, does a little bit more damage if they're already been slime, slows them for 8 seconds. He's a, a relatively close range, does a little bit of a hit. And uh, E is a safety bubble, it makes him invulnerable for 2 seconds, allowing him to fly through abilities, not get stunned. All kinds of good stuff. So basically, the way uh, I want I play Murky, the way I've seen a lot of people play is they go in, try and get as much poke as possible, and then when they start getting attacked, when they find themselves close to dying, you just E out. Just, it just denies them getting the kill and basically gives you enough time. So, a couple of things you have to be aware of on most specialists, but particularly on Murky, is what's going to happen around the map. So, we played a, uh, a game on Cursed Hollow. If you go on to Monkey's Channel, you might be able to see this particular game, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just talk about it. And one of the things that I do, which I wish a lot of good Murky players do, I'm not calling myself a good Murky player, I'm just saying this is how I've seen him played, is you can position your egg somewhere so that if you die during the next phase, say like a garden uh, a garden terror, or you're in the mines or something, if you die during that phase, you will respawn and you'll be able to come in and help again much, much, much quicker than if you left your egg in the previous position, which is most likely in the defensive position. That's something you can do. So just just be aware of that, but don't put it in an obvious location. Don't just put it in the middle of a lane. Try and put it in a brush or in a kind of a back. I always do that. Uh, or in a kind of a back. Um, uh, a, a little nook or a cranny somewhere is always a good place to put it, just to make sure that the enemy can't accidentally kill it. Which I've seen a lot of people do. If you launch a skill shot over an ability, over a wall and it hits it. Um, it will be revealed, and then obviously people can just go and kill it. Once it dies, um, Murky does not die with it. If Murky is alive, his ability, his trait swan egg will go on cooldown at the instant it dies, which means it cannot be placed for 15 seconds. Uh, and during that 15 seconds, after the egg is dead and it's on cooldown, he will be permanently revealed to the enemy team. The enemy team will know where he is at all times. So if your egg gets killed, retreat. <coughs> 
retreat and put your egg down somewhere in the nearest safe spot, even if the nearest safe spot is in fountain. If you try and hurt, they will know you're trying to hurt, and they can probably get you quite a lot of time. Right, let's move on to talents. So, Murky is one of those heroes that can kind of do it all, but excels in the current meta at being the most annoying... No, I, wouldn't want, I don't want to call him an assassin, but kind of CC her and blow her up of a single target in the game. To that effect, the abilities or the talents which I like to take are either Block if they have strong auto attack teams such as Valor and Reyna, or Breeze Bubble if they don't. Uh, you can take Bribe if you're going to be planning on going around the map taking loads of mercenaries, but I like just purely picking between those two. Against a team with an Arthas, if they didn't have any auto attackers, I'd probably take um, Block just because of the Frost 100. If he tries to open with that, it'll take significantly less damage, and the Thick, which means it's just more difficult to kill me. Let's just take Block for now. Choose a talent. Other than that, the build's going to be fairly standard. A uh, living dream is pretty essential. It means that you've got 15% extra ability power, which means you just hit a considerable amount harder, and it stacks up the longer you stay alive, not per kill. And uh, by the time you get into any big fight, you probably should have max stacks. As you see, it starts to tick up like really, really quickly, up to a maximum of 15 stacks. Uh, the next talent you get at level seven is clairvoyance. Obviously, it's always a good one to take if you find yourself in a position to um to really exploit it. Uh, you can take slime advantage if you find yourself basic attacking quite a lot, but my personal favourite is compressed air. It means that your zoning capabilities are just so much more powerful. The ult I would like, I would recommend in this build at level 10 is Octagrab for the following combo. If you will one up someone who's on their own, you can slime, W and grab. If you do it in one motion, your stun will run, up, will run out and then they'll get hit by the puff of fish 99% of the time. If you wanted to cure that hit, you throw W down and then wait just about like a, so basically, uh, I'll clear cool down real quick. So, if you want to land that, that combo all the time, if I can get Arthas to come out, is you throw down the puffer fish, you wait for it to bounce, and then you cast your, your ult on them. So, you throw down the puffer fish, bounce, go, and then it will it should explode at the exact same time. Yep, there you go. So, as soon as, because the puffer fish takes the same amount of time to reach, regardless of where you put it. So, if you wait for it to bounce, you hear the of it bouncing. Cast your ult straight away, and they'll both finish at the exact same time, dealing big damage. And that's the best way to use Doctor Grab, really. Obviously, if you can kill someone who is um, trying their, their life to get away, and you can just stun them forever, it's obviously a good point to do it. You can use just interrupt abilities like Strafe, and the kind of thing. But it is a CC, and it is only on 50 second cooldown, so don't be afraid to interrupt channeled abilities if you can. But other than that, it is, it is incredibly good for just locking down an assassin, or especially someone who tries to um. To, uh, to get a little bit of an advantage. So at level 13, I like to take Wrath of Cod, which is the best name for an ability ever. And what it means is, is that you can W in, slime, and then if you pass the grab, uh, it will deal 35% more damage, which is a surprisingly big deal. And at level 16, the one, the talent that really um, combos into this this set that you've been kind of uh, working towards is this Pufferfish cast slime at its location. So if you do that again, wait for it to bounce and get it. So he's now taking 35% extra damage. Hence it healing, hitting like a truck. And this is an example of what you can do as Murky. So if I were to die here, it would be it would be worth it. And even if I weren't to get the kill, it wouldn't have been too bad. Obviously it wouldn't have been amazingly good. The team would have got a quarter of kills worth of experience for free. But it's not too bad. At level 20, you can take a lot of these talents. Uh, Bolt of the Storms are obviously just hilarious on Murky. But it's probably not the most efficient. Uh, and a Shark 2 is obviously quite nice if you want to uh, actually deal big damage. But if you are considering dealing big damage, I would recommend using Rewind for the following combo. W, 1, W, R. So the first one fish goes off, bang. Stun goes off, and the second one goes off. If you can cast that, combine that with a Mosh Pit or even a Force Wall, something that means that they're going to have a really difficult time to get out of either of the Puffer Fish, and then you can get one of those hits or two hits off on one person, you can hit like an absolute truck and there's basically no one who can survive it, which is just incredibly, incredibly powerful. So just to summarise as Murky, in the early game you want to put your puffer fish down in a safe location, most likely behind your fort or in your or very, very much in your side of the jungle. When an objective spawns, your job as Murky is to buy time for your team, help secure kills if you can, and just annoy them, basically. If you can if you as Murky can force someone to use a healing fountain, or can secure a kill, or can just force their whole team to retreat away from an objective, you're doing your job very well. Things to look out for when you're playing as Murky is to always reposition your egg. 
uh, you, you you will find yourself gaining, after a few games, gaining a kind of sixth sense when they're hunting your egg, at which point it's probably a very good idea for you to uh, to move it. Don't go back into the fountain, Arthur. No. No, stay here. And... Bang. Power of Murphy. No one expects... No one expects the power of Murphy. So don't be afraid to move your egg at... At times, um, on Cursed Hollow is a good example of this. On Sky Temple is also a good example of this. You can move your egg to where you know there's going to be a fight. So you can, um, like, if the Immortals are going to spawn on Battlefield of Eternity, when the Garden Terror is about to spawn, stuff like that, you can move your egg to a position where you know a fight's going to happen, you know something's going to go down. So you can be, even if you do die, which of course is quite likely, you do have low HP, and you're kind of a target because you're so incredibly annoying. Uh, you can just you you'll respawn and join the fight without too much trouble. In the mid game, just kind of continue doing what you're doing. Just make sure you reposition your egg and make sure you're in a position to um to keep doing what you do. Don't be afraid to cast puffer fish to scout or to zone. It's a surprisingly large radius and a surprisingly large area, so that means no one can walk through that now because the fear of it just exploding and killing everyone. And don't be afraid to use Dr. Grab to take out someone at the fight for a few seconds. Just show you that combo, just because I really like that combo one more time. So this is an Arthas on pretty much full HP, with one person focusing in, now it's half HP. Bang, bang. Ridiculous amount of damage. I really recommend picking up Murky. He's a great champion that's completely different from all the other champions. If, you, if you're in one of those games where you don't know who you want to play, but you just kind of want to have some fun, Murky's a great champion for that. Um, he's, yeah, he's surprisingly strong. He's one of the only specials I know who can just say, right, this person, and then just, in, and then just kill them, not necessarily instantly. But if he picks out a target and really focuses them, that person is most likely going to die. Which is a great little thing to have, especially when someone who you dying yourself doesn't really matter that much. So now, if doesn't matter, I can just zone behind the fountain. Now he tries to escape. Bang! Brilliant. I do recommend picking up Mikey, he's a great champion. Uh, very strong. There are some other builds you can pick with Murphy that are like pushing builds and all that. I don't particularly think they fit in the meta at the moment. I don't I don't think they're weak, I just don't think they're, they have a spot in the meta right now. But they are incredibly strong to some extent. Obviously with the with, with kind of the 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 powerhouse which is Sylvanas being really being revealed and really being kind of affected that much, Murky has kind of slipped back into the assassiny, surprisingly enough, role, which is just amazing. So yeah, just a couple of tips to make sure. Don't be afraid to combo your abilities. W rewind W R is a good one. Don't be afraid to reposition your egg, cast slime whenever you can, and just, just make sure you use E to escape. You can use E to engage if you're dedicated to interrupting something like the Cursed Hollow Tribute. Don't be afraid to E in past everyone and then just Q to make sure you get the interrupt. That can be worth it sometimes, but other than that, you're going to want to use your E to escape most of the time. I think that's going to be it for Murky. Uh, there will be a few other of the more ridiculous champs that I'm going to be going over uh, soon when I get my hands on Abatha. I'm going to go over him because I think he's an incredibly strong champion. I'm probably not going to go over the Lost Vikings just because I'm not really a massive fan of the Lost Vikings. Other than that, that will be me for the night. Day, whatever it is. I have Mr. G and I'll see you next time.